Thank you, Lord. This morning, I want to go back to the book of Revelations, chapter 6. Chapter 6, chapter 6. But I, I must, uh, I, I've, I've tried to prepare you before I get into this. And I must do one more thing, because I, I, I need, most may not be familiar with the word tribulation. So I need to show the signs that Jesus had showed, even when he was here, that tribulation would come. And I need to show that in scripture it talks about, it, and tribulation mean trouble, trouble. mean trouble. Now, now, there is a tribulation that individuals are supposed to go through or you're going to be in the tribulation. So if you refuse to go through tribulation now, you will be in the tribulation. Mark what, I about, what I'm about to say to you. If you don't want no trouble now, you don't want to suffer for the cause of Christ, you don't want to live for Christ, you want to be in the world with the rappers, with the party boys, having your fun, living your life, doing your thing, you're going to be here for the tribulation. And talking to tribulation, the word means trouble. Like man has never seen, day of sorrow. That's what we're about to enter into. All the signs have already been here already for the tribulation to happen. Son, son, daughter, daughter, your future will be very grim if you do not serve the Lord. Because if you're not serving the Lord, when he come to get his church, I've shared on several other messages before about the church leaving this earth. Now, I'm not talking about a church building. I'm talking about individuals that are living for Jesus. Individuals that read the Bible, talk about Jesus, much as they talk about the saints losing. Got that? You're crazy about sports. You ain't crazy about the Lord. You're crazy about video games. Beep, 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 beep all day. But you ain't crazy about reading no Bible. Boy, they don't have no video games in heaven. They don't shoot hoops in heaven. And you know they ain't got none in hell. I'm coming down. I'm going to be personal with you. You understand? I want to talk to you. That's what I want to do. I ain't come to holler at you. So if you want some hollering, you might need to go somewhere else at 11. Because I ain't hollering at you, neither, boy. I ain't having low down, neither. So I ain't trying to psych you. I'm going to tell you the truth. Take it and leave it. There it is. It's been written 2,000 years. I ain't but 51. 2,000 years, it's been written already. God ain't nobody fool. He ain't no liar. Right. That's it. He ain't no liar. He already told you what he's going to do. And he bad, boy. He said, there ain't nothing greater than me, so I swear on my own self what am I doing. So he bad. So don't play with him, boy. He, he the godfather. He a gangster now. <laughs> Not bad, boy. Well, fool God now. He bad enough, and he loves so much. Yeah. Don't fool with him now, because he already left behind what you're supposed to do to make it to glory. Amen. It's right there before your eyes. He left the word already. He ain't got to try to explain nothing. He said, I got millions of, my book's still the world's bestseller. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Boy, you got Bibles in every motel and yeah. flea bag trap. You can never go in. They got a Bible in there. Pull the drawer open, hurry up and close it. You don't want to see it. <laughs> Revelation chapter 6, verse 1. Let me start this, brother. Go ahead. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon. To no, 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 these, and I'm going to visit these horses as we open them, but I want to I wanna help you understand what's going on. You've entered into a tribulation period when that start happening. You've entered into the time of trouble. But I need to stay with that for a moment just to show you what I'm saying. And 2 Peter, I'm going to move around a little bit. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10, verse 10, because the day of the Lord he talks about, and he alludes to the tribulation. And what I want to show you, there are many scriptures that allude to what I'm saying, and he says it in a different way. 
He's going to say the day of the Lord. In other words, every dog going to have his day. You, you remember that? Yes. God going to have his day too. Amen. God ain't sleep. What people think they're getting away with sin and having their way, God ain't sleep. God is just long-suffering. He don't want nobody to go to hell. In other words, he won't give everybody the opportunity to go to heaven. No man going to stand before the Lord and say he ain't had a chance. Amen. Nobody living God. Yet yeah, you stand before the Lord and say, I didn't have a chance to get saved. I didn't ever really know the Lord. Then he can't be God no more. Because he's going to give every man a chance. God even says that individuals that don't have the scripture, he's going to judge them according to their conscience. He said, well, 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 you may not never read the Bible, but consciously you know right and wrong. He said, I'm going to judge you according to your conscience then. So you may not even have an opportunity to read the Bible. But no man going to be able to say he was wrong. Amen. No man going to stand and say, come on, got to go. Go ahead. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 10. Yes, sir. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with uh -huh. a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Well, in another way, it looks like the Lord going to have him a day. That ain't happened yet, child. Ain't no fervent heat burnt up everything yet. So you telling, you, you, are you living in a fantasy world? Or are you telling God he's a liar? He going to have his day. So if he going to have his day, where you think you going to be when this fervent heat be going on? Huh? Now, God, there's already, God has prophesied where atomic bomb going to do this fervent heat. So he's just not talking about no fire. That's been prophesied in scripture already. But, but I'll go on. This day got to come to pass. Where will you be this day? Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. And I'm going to give you the Bible. If you're just used to one scripture, you're in the wrong place today. I'm going to give you what the Bible says. I'm a 20-year, 28-year-old Bible thumper. I've thumped the Bible since I've been 24 years old, child. I got saved. Party, dope, hey, the Bible, mighty grab, funny hat on, hey! 24 years old, Lord changed my life. That's right. <laughs> so I ain't no fool now. So I've been 28 years in this already. You ain't probably that old yet. So I've been 28 years in it already, before you were born. Some of y'all. Father? So I know what I'm talking about. I've been on both sides. And I wasn't no church boy. Wasn't going to church boy. Playing church, singing in the choir, and then running women on Sunday evening. I didn't play that. Right. When go to no church, God ain't going to kill me because I am a sinner. I'm going to party. I'm going to have my fun. I ain't playing with God. Like some of you church girls and church boys. Say so you pray when you're in trouble. Real sinners cuss when they're in trouble. That's it. That's right. Pray. Well, see, you just wasn't, you wasn't one way anyway. You was a wishy-washy person anyway. You was on both sides. Uh -huh. When you get in trouble, you want to call on the Lord. <laughs> Help me, Jesus. <laughs> Soon you ain't in trouble. Hey, the, ow! <laughs> see, you ain't here. You ought to cut it out. See, you, that's why you don't understand this, because you want to go all the way in nothing. You ain't a good devil nor a good saint. Come on. At least be a good devil. Go to hell on a jet plane and smoke it. Mm -hmm. Now you're a good devil. Ain't worry about nobody. Cuss your mo out. You hear me? Ain't worry about nobody. A good devil. See, you just never was a good devil even. So now you can't be a good saint. Because you can't go all the way. Let's go all the way there. Did you realize not? See, y'all quiet now, see? See, you quiet now, see? See, if I talk about money coming, they'll be bringing money up here. I ain't see nothing. I, I'm, I'm giving the word. I don't see nothing. See? Uh-huh. Oh, I forgot him on TV. All right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Matthew chapter 24, <laughs> verse 21. Uh-huh. For then shall there be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning. That, that's of what we're talking about. Then there should be great tribulation. Like what? Such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. Oh. That ain't happened yet then. There ain't been great trouble like that. This ain't happened. It's coming, child. So you better be prepared. 
Go ahead, brother. Keep reading. Write that. No, nor ever shall be. Uh -huh. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Oh, so he's going to shorten them days for the elect's sake, those that are elected. If not, God said no flesh will be spared. In other words, the trouble is going to be so severe that nobody will be able to take this boy. Do you understand that? You ain't going to be able to run in a cave a mountain or dig deep enough in the cellar to avoid this one. That's what he's talking about. You ain't gonna be secure nowhere. Nowhere to hide. That's what he's gonna do. That day is on the break. Just like September 11, all of a sudden, it broke forth, that's the way he coming like a thief in the night. And when most people do not look for him, he's on his way. And most folks are not looking for it. They don't think nothing gonna happen. They're just chilling. Just chilling. Huh? Go ahead, verse. Verse 23. Yes, sir. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or uh -huh. there, believe it not. Now, but when that time get near, there's gonna be much deception. Folks gonna say they are Christ. There are going to be many people deceived trying to follow after them because you're in the era where people are looking for answers. They're looking for answers to their problems. That's why Psychic 1-800 is very popular. They make billions of dollars. And they tell the truth to some folks. Yeah. They tell you you got two men. <laughs> and what they look like. Oh, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, that's nice. That's familiar spirits. They pick it up on you. They have a perverted gift that they can discern between, yeah, and then now you keep paying that three ninety five dollars or whatever it costs. Because you're looking for answers because they are perverted. Yet yeah, they told you the truth. They told you you met that man in the ballroom and what his name was. That's where them spirits go, in the ballroom. So they pick you up. Yeah, got that? No, you don't like to be that. You don't like to be that person. See that? Do you understand that? See, so you are psyched out. This is the last hour. Do you understand that? Come on, brother, we got to hurry. Go ahead. For there shall arise false Christ mm -hmm. and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders. You, do you see that? In the last hour, individuals will show great signs and wonders. And most people like signs and wonders. So they believe these individuals. Go ahead. Insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Oh, man. If it was possible. He said they would deceive the very elect if it was possible. Do you hear me? So if you follow people just for signs and wonders, you're going to be deceived. Do you understand that? See, I'm not talking about signs and wonders. Now, see, Satan going to perform signs and wonders. So healing, financial blessings, big buildings, crowds of people, that don't mean nobody saving there. Do you understand that? They ain't saving there. Oh, boy, they just going to church. Shut up. Joker got two holes in there. Oh. Don't you understand that? See, so ain't nothing happening. Do you see that? But there are a lot of signs and wonders. They jump and they shout and hallelujah, praise God. They're sweating. Oh, oh Lord Jesus. Come on. <laughs> ain't that happening? Because soon as they start talking about Lord Jesus, going to be saying, oh, baby. <laughs> and that ain't your wife. <laughs> see, that's so ain't nothing. Ain't nothing changing. A lot of signs and wonders going on. A lot of miracles happening. Mercedes Benz and Cadillacs. A lot of miracles happening, baby. Brand new Stacy Adam Cole. Hey, watch. Come watch on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of money. Oh, you don't want to talk, see? That don't mean, now you're supposed, you supposed to be living on no bridge, and you, so don't go write me no letters. <laughs> Do you understand that, see? You don't want to be living on no bridge, now, but that's not. Dope pushers got plenty of jewelry. Got jewelry stores in their mouth, boy. Do you understand that? That don't mean nothing. 
Wealth don't mean, because that don't mean you save and go to heaven because you wealthy. Do you understand that? And that don't mean you save and go to heaven if you're living under the bridge with a Bible and blowing bubbles talking about Jesus and you're 35. <laughs> Do you understand that? Now go ahead. That don't mean you save neither. Balance it. Give me some balance here with this one. In other words, he's supposed to take care of your every need. You're supposed to prosper, yes. But that's not the sign that you're born again. The sign that you're born again, your lifestyle changed. You live different. You treat your brother right. Do you understand that you ain't cheating nobody? You're living right. You ain't lying. Cheating on your income tax. Claiming other people cheering and carrying on. Talking about praise the Lord. Go, you better go ahead. You have some integrity about yourself. You're trustworthy. And you're an honest individual. That's the difference. If you're born again. Yeah, now, they ain't even say nothing about, you shouldn't, you know you shouldn't be in the bar room and talking about you're no Christian. You know you shouldn't be smoking dope talking about you're no Christian. You go, watch out now, boy. You shouldn't be no sipping saint. Yeah. Here, your garbage can full of alcohol bottles. Got, and, then, and on the front, talking about praying the Lord. <laughs> talking about Jesus Lord on the lawn. Talking about Jesus and the garbage man dropped the clink on him. <laughs> now you know something wrong up in there. <laughs> they drunk. And they ain't drunk with the Holy Ghost neither. They are full of alcohol. Come on television people, you hear me? Do you see that? Come on brother, let's go, I'm lost, what verse? Verse 25. Verse 25, I'm trying to get to 29. Go ahead. Behold, I have told you before, wherefore, if they shall send you, behold, he is in a desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in a secret chamber. And do you realize what Jesus said? He said, don't go following folks talking about Christ here and Christ there. Wow. Do you understand that? He said, you, you, but see, what he's saying is that a lot of people are going to start following after, not Jesus, but signs and wonders, yeah. trying to find Christ. They don't have a relationship with Jesus, but they're trying to find it through if their needs are met. Yeah, yeah. Uh, come on, gotta go. Go ahead, come on, go ahead. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, mm -hmm. believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon... Now, now, wait a while. They go back with that tribulation. I, I would talk about the carcass and, and Armageddon and all, but I can't get into all that right now with you. But I want to I wanted focus on that day of trouble that's on its way. He say immediately after the tribulation, what? Of those days shall the sun be darkened, uh -huh. and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. In Luke chapter 21, here's a sign here. He says, these things gonna come to pass. It gonna be so dark, like you've never seen darkness. Even when you go in the country, you have moonlight and stars. He said, there ain't going to be that. You've never seen darkness like this darkness. They're going to come on the face of this earth. And individuals that choose not to serve Lord now, and if you escape the great the rapture, you're going to be ushered into the tribulation. The rapture. Taking away the church. Trump going to sign, dead in Christ going to rise first. We that alive and remain shall be caught up in the clouds with the Lord forever. That's what 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 says. That's what it says. That's the next big event going to happen. Trump going to sign, in the twinkling of an eye, graves going to be open, folks going to glory that serve the Lord. We that alive and remain going to be caught up on the cloud. New scene 8 going to tell you aliens have robbed the graves and took some of the people away. That's what the news going to tell you. They're going to say, oh, it's happened all around the world. Graves have been open. Individuals have come out of the grave. Tombs are empty. People are missing and they don't know where they are. They're going to be trying to figure it out. Now, if you're still here, that means you wasn't ready to go. My God. If you're still here. Now, if you died in it because you was in the car and the dude behind you driving the tractor trailer was in the Lord and he was taken up. Or you was on an airplane, and the pilot knew the Lord at that time, and you crashed and died in the plane. You lost your soul. You went to hell because you wasn't serving the Lord. 
Because if you'd have been serving the Lord when the trunk would have signed, you'd have been going with the Lord. That's a judgment. That's a judgment right there. See, he's going to do a judgment right there. So if you're not living for the Lord at that time, you're not going. Now, nobody's going to be able to help you because this is going to happen in the twinkling of an eye. So you, you just blank your eyes. That's how fast that we go. That's it. So ain't no time.